All right, boys, it's time. We gotta get this thing to the shop. See what's going on. <laughs> Dover has not seen it. Hey, boy, uh, Dover, what do y'all think here? It's, you know. It's a fox. It's a fox. It's a fox. All right, so we're gonna jump this thing off. Let me grab the keys and we'll get her loaded up. All right, so, yeah, I imagine we'll take the hood. Let's see if I can get this thing started. The beast from the east. All right, there we go. Yeah, it, it is. All right, guys, it is officially time to yank this poor, sad, wounded old turd out of here and uh, get the fresh mill. We're pulling down the AC now. Uh, other engine is ready to go. Let me give you an update on that. Let's check it out. All right, guys, we've pretty much got the finishing touches. I've got to pull the throttle body and EGR spacer off the other motor, uh, the alternator, which is new. Uh, I've got to pull the AC compressor off and uh, get it cleaned up and uh, reshot in the and the Aluma Bright uh, color that we've done everything else in. Uh, but we got the brand new LMR brackets, the brand new 93 Cobra pulleys from LMR, new tensioner. I mean, it yeah, went all out. I mean, I even got the Ford IAC and throttle position sensor. I mean, she's dialed. I've got the, I've got the brand new cap on that motor, so that's not staying. Um, got new grommet PCV valve. I'm not happy with the finish on the valve covers. The color is good, but they just, I needed to blast them. I didn't blast them. They'll be all right. They'll be all right. They look good. Um, we're just gonna roll with them. You ain't gonna be able to really see them anyway, so I'm good. But yeah, guys, uh, we're about to pull this motor. Guys, one quick thing. Keep an eye out for a video of this car. This is a true Survivor 92 GT. Keep an eye out for this car. This, this car is really cool. Um, but uh, also another update on my Gen 3 Yodi. You see, you got the all the power by the hour accessories are on the engine now. My air alternator, power steering, all of that. Um, of course, the oil pump gears, crank sprocket from uh, Ken down at HPR. Um, I mean, she's she's dialed, boys. Got the Gen 3, which I think it's about to fall. No, maybe not. Got my Gen 3 uh, JLT cold air. I mean, this bad boy is uh, pretty much ready. I'm waiting on a converter, and then we can bolt the trans to it, set it all down on the K member, and uh, Gen 3 will be ready to slide back in the car when she comes back from Hunt's Body Shop. All right, guys, moment of truth. Like I said, you've seen us do this about 100,000 times. It is filthy. Like, this thing is, it's nasty. But uh, very excited to get this thing out. So I'm about to yank this thing out and then uh, we'll kind of assess what we have under the hood. You know, guys, the, the car was painted. We didn't do under the hood, but everything I see, it's very presentable. Like it's, I'm going to pressure wash everything and, and uh, go everything with a fine tooth comb. But I think it's going to be good. I, I really don't want to strip the bay and paint the bay. I'm just not not feeling that maybe someday but i'm not worried about it really at this point all right gents mission partially accomplished she is out so next step is going to be a lot of cleaning i mean a lot of cleaning i mean it's not horrible like realistically two-tone was dirtier and a good pressure washing and she looked great i'm really happy with the way the underhood looks uh in bare form it's, it's not bad not bad at all so tried to get a little do a little cleaning up here we got stuff everywhere here is the tired old mill boys original old school mac headers they're still good headers i don't know what we're gonna do with them but just uh gotta swap the clutch and flywheel all that and injectors fuel rails uh i've got to clean the compressor up and swap the alternator over put the motor mounts ground straps and uh we'll be pretty pretty well ready to go but it's what a difference 
what a difference this motor is tired guys it's not much compression leaks everywhere but i mean it's 30 something plus years old no it's older than that it's yeah 33 years old it's done its job now in comes the new one all right guys that's pretty much gonna wrap this one up um now uh i'm gonna break this up into two parts uh the next part is me spending uh, the better part of a couple of days transferring over the parts detailing the engine bay getting it nice and clean get everything swapped over and the next time you catch us uh we'll be checking out a clean engine bay dropping the fresh engine back in the pops car been a long time coming uh still a ton of work to do man when i say a ton of work to do a ton of work to do all the parts that are transferring over which are a lot i've got to get cleaned up um and possibly painted depending on the part and then of course the engine bay as you can see um with pressure washer it's going to come nice and clean uh, but i want to make sure everything's you know everything that i can change or oh, we got to put a brake booster on it and a, a new master cylinder and then uh, i think we're just going to replace this harness while we're in here so lots going on uh but pop's car is one step closer i'm telling you guys you think uh, you're just swapping a motor now we're not we're swapping a lot and it's uh, a lot to clean and a lot to get right the engine's out you need to take advantage of that so we are uh, so i hope you enjoyed this if you did big thumbs up make sure you smash that subscribe button i'll catch you in part two